All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be looking at a, another fragrance. This is my third fragrance video. Um, just because I like looking at fragrance videos on YouTube and I think they're cool and I like seeing different perspectives of the same scent. Um, but today we're going to be looking at Tahitian Waters and I picked this up at TJ Maxx. I only paid like $12.99 for this. This is a complete, complete blind buy. I do not regret it. Um, this is a typical English laundry kind of setup. I didn't get the box with it. It was just sitting there. But, um, you know, your typical uh, English laundry look. You know, you have your um, engraved top. It is heavy. The sprayer, I've already sprayed on a couple scents, so I'm not going to go over that. The atomizer is middling. Um, it's not great. It's not bad. Um and just to sum this scent up, I would say this is a good scent to wear on a cruise or like a tropical, if you're going to Hawaii, you're going to Florida. It's a decent scent. I don't regret buying it. Again, it was $12.99. Um, it's like $60 on Amazon. If you're into this kind of thing, tropical scents, um, like a, what is it, a free, a floral fruity scent, you might pay $30, $40 for it. Um, and if I saw it in the store again, I would not buy it again just because I'm not going to wear this too much. I wore it on a trip, oddly enough, in the spring to Boston and it smelled good. That's probably not the ideal weather for it. It was, you know, between 50s and 60s in Boston. Um, but, you know, I've got I got some compliments on this it. This came out in 2013 and it doesn't smell dated by any means, I think. If I wore this in my 30s and my dad wore this at his age or a young man, I don't really subscribe to all of that. Oh, well, if you're 20, you can do... I Just wear it with confidence. And if you like it, you like it. Um, because colognes are really, really subjective. If you've watched a number of videos, they're super subjective. I watched a video where a girl shot down like Blue de Chanel, um, Aqua de Jo profumo or profundo and I just she said savage was okay and i was just like whoa i'm still a little butthurt on that but this has top notes of coconut lime bergamot and orange middle notes are lang lang jasmine base notes are brown sugar cedar i will say to me um it does like the opening is like you can smell the coconut citrus it, it definitely smells good it's not super offensive um, and it definitely has a sweet smell. It's not like you sweet and the dry down to me is woody and brown sugar when it dries down. You can smell a little bit of the citrus, but it's woody and brown sugar. And so you could sit with somebody near somebody with this scent. You won't knock them out. You won't give them a headache. Um, it lasts decently on my skin. Not as much, probably like four hours. Um, you know, when I initially sprayed it, you know, it, it does give you a little zing, but then the coconut, the coconut goes well with the citrus. So, um, you know, I will say that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the process of editing this video, I realized I am not giving English Laundry Tahitian Waters a fair shake. It is not the type of fragrance that I like or gravitate towards. And I feel like in this video, I'm putting it down a little bit too much. I've cut out so much of the content that I recorded for this just because I'm coming from a very one-dimensional place. That being, I like other types of fragrances. And let me start by saying English Laundry is a good house. They make quality fragrances and Tahitian Waters is no different. This is an eau de parfum um, concentration and you can smell, it is a little bit heavier, a little bit richer, um, and higher quality than, you know, your typical, I'll pick up a cheap $15, $20 bottle of a no-name fragrance for vacation type of thing. Um, this is worth going into, into a department store and buying if you're into this type of fragrance. Um, I think it's quality, it's just, it doesn't suit me. Um, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to wear it on occasion. Um, but for me, when I wear a fragrance, the first thing is I have to like it. No matter how many compliments, that is a must. In this case, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't buy it again as I state in the video, but 
this is a quality fragrance and I should not be so negative because I'm one guy with one opinion. I guess one other thing too is I would love for the Lang Lang and Jasmine to kind of project a little bit longer. I think that was disappointing. Um, again, I didn't even smell though, even if it didn't project to other people or the sillage wasn't so good that other people commented, at least I would have my own bubble. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe it was just because I was nose blind in a different place, allergies, but I could not smell it on me for me to even enjoy. So I don't know, maybe it's just a scent my nose doesn't pick up, but that's just my experience. Again, if you're at a discount retailer, pick it up so you can test it out. And then if you like it, like it, then you can go to a full-fledged retailer or Amazon and pay a little bit more for it. Yeah, Tahitian Waters is just as it sounds. It's not a super heavy scent. Um, I wouldn't spray heavy if you're gonna be on a plane or whatever, you might knock somebody out. It's definitely worth a blind buy if you're you know, at a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Burlington kind of situation. Definitely a solid pickup. Um, I know this wasn't super informative, but here's the bottle. It's kind of like a silvery, shimmery kind of finish and you can see through it. I haven't sprayed it too much. I would definitely take English Laundry London and Cambridge Night over this. Um, I would even probably take the signature scent over this, even though this would probably get you more compliments and would project better. I just think the English Laundry signature is a little bit more unique and sophisticated and mature, not in a sense that you know, it's old Manny, but just less people are wearing it. So you've taken some time, you have some depth to you. You don't just grab what's popular. You can find something that's a little bit more obscure and it works for you. So that's kind of what their signature scent says to me. And this kind of says, okay, you know, kind of fun, fruity, sweet. So.